Good evening, I'm Gene Russell. Welcome to Polytalk. Much has been made recently in Washington, D.C. about the uh, effects of political action committees and special interest groups. Uh, the, you've got a myriad of them. You've got the NRA, you've got uh, the NAACP. All of them, all of these groups have a special role in American politics today. Now, tonight on Polytalk, we thought it might be um, a little interesting and, and a little more off the cuff if we examined a political action committee, a special interest group that, let's just say, that their influence hasn't been felt <laughs> in the American psyche as of this time. Um, we have on our show tonight Mr. Arthur Burns. He is the president, I guess, the, the, the leader of Cannibals America, what some pundits have affectionately dubbed the weakest lobby in Washington, D.C. Good evening, Arthur. Let me welcome you to my show with uh, open arms. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> <laughs> sure. A little I, joke there. Thanks for the introduction. I had expected something a little, a little more uh, uplifting, I suppose. But regardless, thank you, Gene, for having me. It's more than some folks have Now, you, you've spent a lot of time on Capitol Hill, right? I mean, lobbying for your I have, cause. I have. Um, I was just curious which politician you would most like to eat. You know, I mean, which one would strike your fancy? Which which politician is the the most edible, you know, politician that, that you can think of? You know, I mean, Newt G Gingrich just automatically springs to mind. I mean, <laughs> he's rather rotund. There's a big head, yeah. uh, of course, on Newt Gingrich. I, I think what comes to mind is uh, Henry Hyde. Henry Hyde. Veteran Henry legislator Hyde. from Illinois. Because does, does meat on a human body age more? You know, because he's rather, you know, he's a little older than, than, than some other uh, of the new wave of senators and representatives that came in. Is that, is that the reason? I mean, is it, you know, is, is it kind of like eating salt pork because it's been cured? You know, it's salt. And, Look, and Tim it's Penny was high on our list before he retired, mm -hmm, uh, Gene, mm -hmm. the young, young man from Minnesota. I really didn't come on the show to talk about... Well, I, let me just what say, I, I think you better nail Strom Thurmond. He's, <laughs> he's getting up there. <laughs> Gene, I, I kind of hope that this is the, the part of the cannibal uh, motif that we could move away from. I mean, oh. there, there is okay. more to us than okay. people who eat flesh. Okay, more to you. We have more to offer. Okay. okay. We're, a, we're a, a big group and a group on the rise. Mr. Burns, we'll, we'll move as far away from the, the fact that you eat people uh, we'll move as far away from that as we can. All right. Okay, I, I promise fine. you that. Thanks for having me. Uh, you're welcome. Um, I'm glad you're here. And uh, this is fascinating to me. It is fascinating, and I think it's fascinating to everyone out there. Um, as I say, the, the effects that you've had on the political scene, I, I think I speak for most people when they say they probably never heard of this lobby, mm -hmm. didn't know it existed. Let me explain something about lobbyists and special interest groups. Um, most of the people who do the representing for these groups know very little about the groups. They um, uh, are, are just in it for the check or the glory, so to speak. Now, Arthur here is a true cannibal. He does eat flesh. You know, I, I had to say this. I mean, I wanted to move away, you know, but I had to say, you do no, eat flesh. It's part of who I am. You know? It's fine that it gets, it gets some of the attention. I don't want to get all the attention. Yes, I do eat flesh. Great. Um, um, you are a flesh eater, okay. and you are the leader of Cannibals America. Cannibals America. Um, how many people are affiliated with Cannibals America? Yeah. Gene, we, we don't like to get bogged down in numbers. Uh, we like to keep our eye on the ball. I mean, after all, it's, it's, it's the right or the cause that ought to be front and center. I mean, for instance, if, if one person, just one person, is being denied his or her First Amendment right to free speech, that's too many, isn't it? I'm uh, told there are six of you. Yeah. That's right. Um, Maybe you could elaborate on uh, and, and tell us exactly what your goals are, <laughs> you know, your, your agenda Well, Cannibals America, your, your, your personal agenda. Very simply, we seek acceptance, uh, a fair shake. We want to uh, move people beyond the knee-jerk reaction that they have on the topic of cannibalism. Now, we're not angels, but we like to say, you know, let he who is without sin cast the first stone, right? I mean, we want, we want people to see us as individuals, not members of some group uh, who must, because of some stereotype, uh, possess all the most socially unacceptable characteristics of that group. We want what's fair, uh, in it, balanced, balanced coverage by the media, access to the ears of senators and representatives. Now that, we are now denied. I'm sorry, perhaps it's just a, a slight pesky bias uh, showing through here. Um, um, 
But when you say the ears and, and eyes of, of senators and representatives, I cannot help but, but uh, you know, see, yeah, see some, a, an actual person attempting... Some cannibal gnawing on a severed yes. ear. I know, I know. I, and let, let me say, I mean, I've been hard on you from when we started here, but let me say, in all honesty, I don't blame you. I mean, look at the image that's been presented to you. I mean, day after day, story after story about cannibals, uh, negative. I mean, where is the balance? And here, the media, if I could take a moment, the media is woefully culpable here. Now, think about this. I mean, if all you see or hear on the evening news is Jeffrey Dahmer, uh, God rest, you know, rest in peace, uh, Jeffrey Dahmer rotting limbs in the freezer, a severed head by the was, uh, was Mr. Dahmer affiliated with uh, Cannibals America? Was he, or was he part of some fringe group of, you know, how uh, these yeah. things faction off eventually? I really didn't want to get into this either. Jeff uh, tried to be gracious. Jeff, uh, Jeff spurned our group and uh, didn't want to be a part of it. There's still a lot of hostility between Cannibals America and the Dahmer estate, the Dahmer people. I'd, I'd really rather not say any more than that at this point. It's if very I could. gracious of you, Mr. Burns. I thought that it was. But again, more to us than Jeff. Uh, or Han Here's a great one. Hannibal Lecter. We all flock to see The Silence of the Lambs. That land. was a great film. A great, great film. film. Uh, but Anthony Hopkins, you know, made it made an almost a lovable role. But, you know, then people walk out of the theater with the same biases about cannibals they had when they went in. But we're more. We're more than Hannibal Lecter. We're not just cannibals. I mean, we're moms and dads. Uh, doctors, lawyers, scout troop leaders. We're multifaceted people just like you and just like everyone else. Uh, but the problem is you don't see that other side of us. I mean, when was the last time... Ask yourself, Gene, and for the folks at home, when was the last time you saw a positive portrayal of a cannibal on, on primetime TV? You haven't. You haven't. Uh, that's the prejudice we're fighting. Dining out in public would be a problem for a cannibal. Uh, unless, I'm, I'm figuring you don't eat anything but human flesh, a true cannibal. Is that, is that correct? Yes, I'd you like... Do, you don't do, what I'm saying is uh, you cannot pull into a Wendy's or a Burger King or a racks or or any other uh, fast food restaurant or fine dining establishment mm -hmm. with waiters and waitresses and actually be served a platter of, of human digits for not, instance not uh, is that a, would that be a goal not, uh, would you would you like that to happen in the next certainly and you can't you can't really expect with the, with the prejudice and the bigotry that we are fighting uh, every day you really can't expect for those changes to have happened already. But you, you have to remember that uh, if you look back 10, 20 years ago, you wouldn't have seen all the, the low fat entrees or the low sodium or uh, uh, the, the, the human, uh, the product made by humans, uh, but of which they are not consumed in it, a Jif peanut butter. I believe has moved to a lower fat variety. Now, you would never have seen that 10, 20 years ago. But those changes have come, you know, about to accommodate an increasing population who demands those things. Uh, any basic of supply and demand, any knowledge of that will tell you that as our numbers grow and we demand to be accommodated uh, in, in local establishments, in, in dining halls, restaurants, there will be more uh, cannibal-friendly entrees that we will be able to choose from. We will then be able to go out in society like the rest of you without giving it a second thought. It, it'll, it'll happen someday. You speak of expanding your numbers and supply and demand. I just don't see how you can rationally expect to expand numbers by recruiting people and then eating them. I mean, <laughs> how would that work exactly? If you're a cannibal you're, you're, and you want uh, numbers of people to join you, yet you're killing your resource, you know. We haven't, we're a new group, and we haven't worked out all the flaws in our, our recruiting or our thinking. Yes, there are obviously are a lot of holes in your position. Look, but, uh, I'm, I, sure, I'm sure you're working on them. Not that Washington is perfect as it is now. There's a lot of holes in a lot of people's right. platform. It's, but what I want... Uh, most people's platforms holes don't have skin dripping off the bones. I'm sorry. <laughs> you know, you're, you're, <laughs> I'm sorry. You seem to be going out of your way to paint the most disparaging picture of cannibals. Maybe I am. Can. Maybe I but am. Let me tell um, you something. Yes. Let me tell you something. This idea uh, that is born that the cannibal uh, thinks only of you know, eating flesh or they just cannot control themselves. I mean, you know, when I say to you, you know, cannibal, uh, you probably think uh, Silence of the Lambs. Uh, you think... Uh, Comes to mind. Jeff Jeffrey Dahmer. Well, let me tell you, there is more to us than uh, Jeff Dahmer and uh, uh, Hannibal Lecter. I mean, we're more than that. We're not just cannibals. That's my point. We have other things to offer. We're, 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 we're moms and dads. We're doctors... Uh, lawyers, scout troop leaders, uh, we're multifaceted people, just like you and just like everyone else. But the problem is, 
You don't see that other side of us. So we have to fight this media perception day after day, story after story, uh, negative about our cause and what we believe in. Now, when is the last time you saw a positive portrayal of a cannibal on a primetime TV, for instance? Now, you haven't. Now, now that, that's the prejudice we're fighting. The movie Alive was... There, it's got another one. Ethan Hawke, the young... You know, the dream was positive. of his day. It was positive. They're, they weren't seen as animals. They did what they had to do. But you ask me for an example, I give you an example. But the, Let's you, move along. Your, your statement about doctors and lawyers uh, among, right. among right. the six uh, members you have. Um, I don't know. There's, there's got to be a line somewhere drawn. Another line like on your table where I shouldn't cross. Possibly You're big on if you want to look at the people I am, gene and I don't like it. But go ahead. Speaking of separation of people. Speaking of separation of people. Do you... Like, do you see somebody that, that you would really like to eat? Or, and, 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 and you would like to eat them, and then you see someone who's possibly unattractive that you wouldn't want to eat. I mean, is there a disparity there? Do you, do you see me? I, I'm a big guy. I got a lot of meat on my bones. You know, am I an edible person? Or do you, do you see, uh, you know, are skinny people more edible because what, I, I don't know. Let I mean, me tell you, let me tell you, you raised the, the, the specter of, of discrimination and I can tell you proudly uh, that this is a group that does not discriminate uh, cannibals. We, uh, we don't care whether you're uh, black, whether you're white, you know, Hispanic, uh, straight or gay, if you're now, overweight. Hispanic population, if you were to eat one of those people, I'm sure the, the prevalence of their food that they eat in their system would be a hotter meat. What that, but that, you, you're, that you're right? again falling a spicier, into this a spicier brand of I, meat. Mexican people eat other things other than spicy. Sure they do, but they food. like their food spicy. Fine, fine. And we like all, all manner of, of people. Uh, we, we do not discriminate. You put salt and pepper on your meat when you eat it? No, no, we're, we're totally good. There are, there are sex I've, I've heard of uh, in the past. You have sex while you're eating the meat? S. E C T S. Sex. Sex. Okay. 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 That's what Didn't we catch have. the T there. But listen. Listen to me. Now listen to me. Uh, you, the, the Hispanics. It makes no difference. We do not discriminate. Uh, it, we. It does. It makes no difference to us what you look like or your, your your ethnic origin. We we will eat you, and we 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 will not discriminate. We think it's wrong. We think that the discrimination has been prevalent for too long. People from both sides of the political spectrum have tried to divide people. We will not do that. We will eat you, we will eat you happily, and we will not turn you away because you're a few pounds overweight or you're bulimic or, or you have some other manner of eating disorder. We don't believe in that, and it is part of our creed, and it will, as long as I am living and breathing and, and eating people, it will be part of our vision. It's that simple. Arthur will eat you. That's, that's what he's trying to say. But, but, but more than that, more than that. Arthur will eat you. Is, is, is what I got out. But listen, but listen, listen. There's, there's uh, going back to your statement earlier. We also, I do my taxes. I, I, I you know, I've, I, I used to ride in a wagon. Now those IRS child. people. Now if anybody could be eaten, <laughs> I vote it's them. Okay. <laughs> Just you, you, decide. You see my point. I'm a normal sure, person. Sure. Sure. I do the same. I've, I go to ball games. I. You, you know, you I, could almost justify this stuff. And I, I see you're normal. You've got your I tie on. You could, I, for everyone else, you can't justify it for everyone else. You can justify it for yourself. That's it. But if you were dining on, say, death row inmates, um, criminals, um, I don't know, uh, IRS people, like I just said, that's almost justifiable. Maybe if you shifted your platform to things like that, you know, and it would save a lot of money. Now on let me American tell you, populace. that is just the kind of government intervention that, that, that we don't need. That excessive, uh, stifling regulation that will say. So you're a libertarian you only... organization. I don't see why we have to draw all these political lines. I haven't seen Lyndon LaRouche lately. I mean, has he been eaten? Uh, oh, that's really, yeah, no. that's really a, a cheap shot. As if, you know, everybody who's, who's prominent or perhaps uh, attractive or we're just, we're eating everybody. You know, we, we do other, I'm here with you now. You know, if I were in Washington I'm, and I was a cannibal, and I'm not, but I am in you're Washington. Not a cannibal. So I'm putting myself in your position. I'm a cannibal. I would go for the girls. I would eat the women, you know. Um, Hillary Clinton, I would start with her. The women of power. I would sit down, roast them over an open fire, stick an apple in her mouth, sop her up with a biscuit, as they say down south. I mean, uh, do you do that? Do you Listen, find yourself me... as a cannibal being more attracted to one particular What did sex? I say? I, we do not discriminate. I, I, I don't so you'll eat, I, you'll eat anything, I know, but there's got to be, I mean, like, I see a piece of chicken, okay? And if it's, you know, it's going to look a little better than this piece of chicken here when it's presented to me. Okay. Which one would you go for? You know. 
It's like, you know. Okay, the better looking chicken. Okay, that's that's what I'm going for. Cannibalism is not like that. You don't always have so the options to choose from, or, or the, all the choices at your disposal. Are there droughts you in your diet? What's, are there droughts in our diet? You know what I'm saying? I mean, <laughs> every day you would have to eat a human being to live. I've got any research at all before I came here. I mean, it, There's it's not a lot of research available. I'm Let just saying. Let me tell saying. you something. Okay. You, you, Hillary Clinton, mm -hmm. uh, whom you mentioned, has been, uh, well, no one has been exemplary in, in listening to, to our needs, but she was closer than anyone to treating us like people and, and to hearing us out and, and to giving us a chance to express ourselves, and she expressed herself. We had a great meeting uh, with Hillary back, back in, in February, and uh, she's been, again, fairly supportive of us. I, I hear rumors. Uh, I can't verify this. Uh, rumors that her daughter, uh, the president's daughter, Chelsea Clinton, is toying with the idea of, of cannibalism. Oh, this is preposterous. Do you think I'm going to let you come out on this show and, and spread this kind of, of venom about... I mean, the, and see, the, the Clintons have been have been skewered in the press enough, and I'm not going to let you come on here and, 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 and just totally... I can't even think of the word for it. You're totally destroying the character of a teenage, innocent girl of the President of the United it's States. It's interesting that you would, you can I'm that. going to get, I'm going to have the researchers look in on this. And if there is, if I can verify this, I will verify it on national TV. If not, I will, I will totally discount it. I, I don't think I even have to do that. I don't think anybody buys this, this crap it's at all. It's interesting that you consider uh, one's choice of becoming a cannibal uh, something to be treated as if I were spewing venom or what other adjectives you use, as, as if it's not as a valid a choice as, as what you do in, in your own private time with your, your own private desires. I, and th to suggest that she, you know, perhaps is, is too stupid to make up her own mind, or she, she is un un incapable of thinking okay, clearly. Okay, okay, I've got your point. We're butting heads here. Let me go back to a statement you made earlier. You uh, stated that you are normal people. You are doctors, yes. you're lawyers. Yeah, that's right. Um, I went to the line, we went to and, the line. and when we got distracted. Well, I, I, the line again. I think there is a line here that has to be drawn between the, the NRA, the NAACP, people that aren't killing other people and eating them, that separates them, who are putting forward a policy of inclusion, supposedly of inclusion and, and intelligence, a line separating those groups from, you know, the toe snackers, the, the earlobe crunchers uh, of the world such as you. And, and I, I think the American people can see the line, uh, you know, especially tonight on this show. They probably didn't know the cannibal lobby existed. They see the line, and most people, they want their 2.3 kids, their house on the hill, and the freedom, the freedom to be alive and, and not be eaten by, by other people. We have enough to worry about we, with car crashes and airplane crashes and, 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 and government intervention in foreign countries and wars to have to worry about Sam, the next door neighbor, chowing down on my left arm. Am I right about this? That is uh, perhaps one of the most unsophisticated, uh, simple-minded analyses of, of capitalism. <coughs> Excuse me, you can feel that way. Lifestyle, but thank you for I think I pr uh, my presented my theories. argument. Um, um, That's not an argument, Gene, um, it's bigotry. What, okay. how, how do you to think about it? I mean, the plight of the cannibal is nothing new in this country. I mean, think about it, it's our time now, but it wasn't so long ago. Uh, your kind to the back of the bus, uh, it's Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. It's just, you know, you're different from me, and bigotry runs deep, and, but eventually the, the, uh, the oppressed group uh, overcomes through rightness of purpose, steady resolve, and visionary leadership, and we will do the same, and we will... What? Are you sizing me up as you're speaking? I beg your pardon. I'm sorry, I just feel like you're looking at me and thinking of, of having me for dinner. I, 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 are you sizing me up? I'm, I'm sorry, I'm I just, I just have to know. I'm having a this myth that we are always... I mean, I can sit here, talk to you, and, and think about going for a pizza later. You know. And, and I'm sure that being a fellow yes. human being. Yes. There I, you go. I'm thinking about eating you. Well, there it you go. It does not mean I can't, I can't sit here what if and I, converse. What if I was sitting here, and you weren't the cannibal? Okay, you're a cannibal, right? I, yes, yes, we, yes. Would you like to be eaten? No. I would like to eat you. Gene, I would. I would. I would like to eat you, and I think I ought to have that right to eat you. Can't. And I think everyone ought to have the right to eat you. Can we? Can we get some people in here? No, no. Um, I, I think we should get some people in here. Uh, are you folks hungry? Uh, the lunch yes, staff back there. Um, I, uh, Arthur here, 
is a cannibal, but he he doesn't want to be Gene, eaten himself. Gene, it's now not there is a, there is there's a problem with this philosophy. Let me tell you the problem. It's a, it's a problem I've been drawing the whole time. <laughs> You're talking about bigotry. That's the ultimate bigotry. Okay, Gene. that's the ultimate mm. bigotry. You Gene. will not be eaten, Gene. It's, it's it's not a hat. Okay, you can't just decide. You're a cannibal. I mean, a, a cannibal. No, I, I, I've done decided. I mean, this looks really come tasty on, to come me. On. Okay? A cannibal okay. I'm just making a point here. I don't want to eat right. you. I don't want to eat you. I, you know, okay. uh, I, I don't really even want to talk you, you to you can't anymore. Even it's just the it. fact. It's just oh, the fact. God. The fact is that you want the right to go eat other people, but yet you don't extend the same right to someone else to eat you. You know. Are you married? No, no, I'm not married. Do you have a, you have a girlfriend? Do you have a girlfriend? Or, or a boyfriend, or uh, you know, some kind of life partner, someone you're seeing. Well, do you date? I don't want to. I don't want to. Okay, if you do, and they want to eat you, you won't let them. You know, there's something wrong with this argument. There's something wrong. There's something wrong with this show tonight, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but I. I, I okay, okay. Okay. I just want to say uh -huh. that a, a, the cannibalistic orientation is. It's not I'm, some. I'm sorry. It's not. A, you can't just choose it, and, and you can't just sit here and, and challenge So you're saying you were born a cannibal. You were like genetically I, I, inclined to eat another human I being? absolutely Is that was. what you're saying? I absolutely Oh, was. now we're blaming God, ladies and gentlemen. We're blaming God on this, on this little problem we have of eating other human beings. What did you think when you came on here? That I, that I would really give you a forum to extend these views without some kind of cross-examination you know, cross of you? I, I, this is this was a big risk for me. I know it. And was. Our, this is a big moment for our group to come on here and meet with you. And I was assured that of all the people uh, to, to whom we could have gone, that you would be the the, the most fair forum that, that would hear us. And I am the most fair forum. I'm telling you that you're basically. Let me ask you this. Let me put. The, I want you to go on Rush Limbaugh's show and present your argument to him. Okay. Rush. If you think I'm unfair. I don't look. Rush Limbaugh has had some very, very disparaging things to say about our group, and I really don't, I don't want to bring, uh, I'm just validate saying. him any further or raise him up any higher than his, his mind already thinks that You he mentioned is. Jeffrey Dahmer earlier, and I wanted to touch on this, I but I got sidetracked. Is he, was he involved? He's dead now. Was he involved in your organization? Was he I, one of, you know, one Jeff, of the, one of the big six? Jeff, may he rest in peace. Uh, Jeff Dahmer was not. I really prefer not. Jeff Dahmer was not uh, a member of Cannibals America. He, uh, we had a lot of trouble with Jeff. He spurned our group, uh, frankly. Is there a lot of very... factioning like that within the group? You know, is there splinter groups? Look, we're, you know, we're young. Cannibals group. America. You got Cannibals Tennessee, maybe, or or, we, or uh, Cannibals we, for the legalization of marijuana. I, I, there I is no know. Tennessee chapter as of yet, and and as of yet, the factions have not developed along any fault lines. There are some, of course, some newer members who may predict a different course, but this is this is far off the topic, and I, I don't want to say any more about Jeff other than we, we respect uh, him and what his needs were and what he wanted, and he was going in a different direction. And uh, we've had a lot of trouble uh, since his passing with uh, the Dahmer estate and the Dahmer people, uh, and I'd really, I really would rather not go into it any any further. If you don't mind... Okay, you've me. softened your tone. I'm going to soften mine, but I want to delve into the actual experience of the cannibal having not... Being not one myself, if that's proper terminology and phrasing. Um, when you eat a human being, are you like the Indians in that you will eat the whole human being or and or use the parts of the human being that you don't eat? The American Indians would take the buffalo and use the whole buffalo. Or do you decide you're going to eat, you know, John Q. Public and you just want to eat a couple of the arms and you're going to discard the rest of it? Is that how it works? Do you make... Che jewelry and stuff you from the ears really. and things like that. Um, I, I, yeah. I've known I've known people to, to who are more creative who uh, who will make jewelry. So there are artists in the cannibal community. Oh, Gene, Gene, we're like anything else. Uh, we have artists. We have people who make who, who, who make widgets. We have people. Was who Van Gogh a cannibal? Homes. He cut off his own ear. Van I mean. Gogh was not. Eli Whitney was a cannibal. Eli Whitney, Eli was, Whitney a can was a cannibal. Cotton gin. Yeah, now, right? how often do you see that in a textbook? You know, uh, Prentice and Hall would have you believe that uh, he invented the cotton gin, uh, late 19th century, uh, lived a happy life. No mention. No mention of cannibalism. That is the type of thing I'm talking about. It, it's that sort of bigotry and it kind of push us under the rug that, that I resent. And no other group these days is facing that like we are. But it's our time. It will pass. Uh, if Dr. King were here, he would have inspiring things to say to us. And he would say to you, 
Gene, your, your bigotry is wrong. I think Do Dr. King, well, what, do you think, what do you think Dr. King would say to you? Let me put you on the spot. How would he respond to your bigotry? You're judging me on, by some arbitrary characteristic. I don't count myself as an authority on Dr. King or feel myself worthy uh, to comment on what he might Fair say, enough. but okay. I, I will take a stab at it. I think Dr. King might say something along the lines of, uh, everybody run for your lives, our guest is salivating. Gene! Gene! That's Gene. what I think I, Dr. Martin Luther King would I say. extended an olive branch to you. I, I brought up... My, what is the point? You, you, you know, you, you came here ostensibly to give me a chance to speak, and you're ridiculing me at every turn. You're pointing out nothing about our regular lifestyle, only that we eat people, we, we eat skin, we like it. Listen, we're proud of that, but it's just one part of our nature. But I don't... I don't need this. I, I, you know, you get over your prejudice. Take a deep breath, Arthur. I, no, I'm leaving. That's what I'm doing, because I'm going to leave you to wallow yourself. in your fear and your small-mindedness. And I think we're going to leave you to, to wallow in your spleen soup. What? Spleen soup, Arthur. Come on! If I were a cannibal, I'd make a soup of spleen. Just because it, it's, it's fun to say. Spleen soup. Anyway, this was absolutely the most interesting and telling show that I've ever conducted on Polytalk. If you have any interest in Animals America, please send a self-addressed stamp envelope. <laughs> Who am I kidding? <laughs> uh, I'm Gene Russell for Polytalk. Please join us next time.